Here's a difficult situation. The ball is well below your feet, but with the proper instruction, you can make this work just about every time. The first thing I do, I grip to the end of the club because the ball is so much more below my feet, so I can have the full extension of the club. The next thing I do, I want to make sure that my, my hips and everything are slightly more open than normal because the ball has a tendency to fall right. But the most important thing here is make sure that your both knees are bent in toward the target. You see a lot of great players chipping from this type of lie, like Seve Ballesteros, Sergio Garcia. You see their knees really bent forward because you don't have time to make much of a body transfer and you want your knees to be in the position of impact. So this is how you play the shot. You get your knees bent forward like this, open your body up, grip to the end of the golf club like this, you slightly open the face up like this. You bend over at the waist to make sure you have the right distance here. Then you make the swing. Now in review. Grip to the end of the club. Slightly open the face. Look like Seve Ballesteros. Get your, your knees bent in toward the ball like this. Both of them are bent toward the target. Make sure you're slightly open like this. And make sure that the club head is down at the bottom of the arc right here. And don't forget, you're always looking at a spot on the green where you want to land the ball. This is a relatively simple shot, but the problem most people have is pulling the ball left of the target. The reason to do that is very simple. When, you're, when your ball is above your feet and you hit the ball with a high lofted club, the loft itself propels the ball left over, over this way. Case in point. You simply have to aim a little bit more to the right. Now, if you don't want to aim quite as much to the right, you can use a lower lofted club. And since we have enough room here, I'll use a pitching wedge. I'll aim a little bit more to the right. The ball comes out a little bit straighter. Remember, I always have a spot that I'm looking at on the green where I want to land the ball. In this case, that spot's basically for a sand wedge. In setting up for this shot, you have to remember a couple different things. One is you must grip up on the club to make it just a little bit shorter. You don't want to be a, you don't want to have your normal shot like this. You want to be a little bit shorter with it. So grip it up toward the steel. The second thing is don't get your hands too high. Don't stand up too straight for this shot. Make sure that the club still has that angle with the shaft and the left arm right here, and it's not straight up in the air like this. Now, the ball is essentially in the middle of your feet right there, but you must aim to the right with a sand wedge. 